He just coded me a neural network using two different models. It's using the LSTM and a CNN. So if this all looks gibberish to you, don't worry about it. I didn't know how to code either prior to wanting to algorithmic trade. And now I can algo trade and remove emotions from trading. So this neural network it created for me predicts the next bar in Bitcoin. And I want to go through it here. Uh, you can see here, we can go ahead and close these tabs. And you can see here, I posted, pasted in this code that ChatGPT literally wrote for me. I said, I said this, code me an LSTM plus CNN model as a hybrid in order to predict the price of the next period of Bitcoin and below is my sample code. So I gave it some sample code or sample data and then it went ahead and spit out all of this code. I went ahead and put this code here and now I need to bring in some data. So I've got the one minute data for BTC that goes back quite a while. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull it in here. Files, connecting to our runtime. Okay, perfect, it's connected. Let's go ahead and bring it in. It might take a while because it is a lot of data. But once that's in there, we'll be able to run this neural network and play around with it. And that's the whole point of using ChatGPT, in my opinion, is just constantly throw in the errors, test, tweak. And the way I got to this idea was in the last video, we were building an ARIMA model. And then I asked like, hey, how can I make this better? And it said, hey, you could go ahead and use a, a hybrid approach to this. So I went ahead and I said, okay, well, build me the hybrid approach. And what did it do? It built me this hybrid approach, which is pretty awesome. If you ask me, this is AI literally building for us. So let me go ahead and paste this in. And by the way, if, if I'm going too fast for you, I do apologize, but you know, I've explained most of this in my other videos and I do, if you want more of like a teaching style of exactly how to algo trade, well, you can get that here in my algo trade camp. I teach everything, pretty much everything I wish I had when I first got started. Uh, it's a very mysterious industry and nobody wants to share any information. So I thought I'd be the guy. Let's go ahead here and see if this runs now. And if it doesn't, then we'll just go ahead and have ChatGPT let us know why it didn't run. So it looks like it layer zero, input zero of layer con 1D is incompatible with the layer expected. Okay, so I'm just gonna pass this into ChatGPT and I love this because it just teaches, right? Like, okay, if we don't know the error, we can Google it for sure. But I could also just say this. I get this error. And let's see what it says. I can't wait till I can pay for this because it's gonna be a lot easier to work with. So this error is occurring because the input shape passed to the con 1D layer is not in the correct format. The con 1D layer expects a 3D input of shape, batch size, time steps, features, but the input shape passed in was batch size and features. The problem here is that you're trying to use a conv 1D layer on a 1D data, but it's designed for a 2D for use in 2D and 3D data, such as image and video data. Instead of using the com one d layer, you can use LSTM layer, which is specifically designed for sequence data. Here is an example of how you can modify your code to use LSTM layer. Okay, so let's just do that. Hmm, so it was there, dense one, you could also consider using a hybrid model. So I'm gonna say this is my code. This is my code. And this is my error. Please fix. Come back over here, copy this error now. and then ask it to fix it for us. 
let's jump on over here, see what's actually happened to real BTC price. Looks like the dollar is strengthening quite a bit. Anyways, let's jump on back. So it seems that the error is caused by the input shape of the data passed to the Conv1D layer. The input shape of the data should be 3D, but it is currently 2D. To fix this issue, you can reshape the data and have a shape of samples time step data before passing into the Conv1D. Here's an example how to reshape it. Okay, let's do that. You can also adjust the input shape argument in the LSTM layer to match the reshape data. Okay, so we'll pass this in here and then we'll also reshape the data. Now let's try it again. Input layer zero, mod, com one D, Additionally, you should make sure that before adding the LSTM layer, you are providing the data in correct format. It should be 3D with the shapes. Okay, so model.fit. Show me the, uh, I still get this error. I just wanna see all the code now. I know I was just telling it to give me half of the code. I get this error. Please rewrite the whole code to fix it. So let's see what it does. Okay, here's the updated code. This is magical. I can't believe that this works. Okay, and it even brought in the right formatting, which is great for my data. I'm gonna delete all this then. And let's see if it can create it correctly this time. So now it's scaling the data and then it splits the data 80% for training, 20% for testing, creates the LSTM plus CNN model. Okay. So this is looking better, I believe, but we'll go ahead and run it. So let's go ahead and bring in part of it and just chunk it a little bit. So let's paste that in. This should all work. Okay, that did. Now where do we stop? We started train test. Okay, and now let's try this part. Create the LSTM plus CNN model. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so we we got another error and we'll go ahead and just throw this in there and see what it says. So it tried to start the epoch training. I get this error now. It looks like the error is caused by missing target data when calling model.fit function. In order to fix this, you need to provide target data for the model to train on. Here's an example of how you can modify your code to include target data. Okay. Convert training data into NumPy array. We don't, uh, do we have NP already installed or no? Import NumPy, good, good. Let's put it right here so we don't have to change anything. Let's put code right there. Copy it in. Dang, so now I get this error. But this is great because we just keep going back and forth with ChatGPT until it fixes it. So in this example, I created training data by using the last 60 closing prices to predict the next closing price. You can adjust the number of past closing prices used to predict the next closing price as needed. The training data is then converted to NumPy arrays 
and reshaped to fit the input shape of the LSTM layer. Finally, the model is compiled and fit with the training data. I get this error now. And the way I think about this is the more we do this, the better it gets trained. And the better it gets trained, well, every time we do this, we learn more. So it seems that the issue is with the input shape of the model. The input shape of the LSTM layer should be 1-1 to match the shape of the training data, which is 161. However, you have added a flattened layer. No, you did, bro. <laughs> flattened layer, which changes the shape to 160 before passing it to the Conv1D layer, which expects a 3D input. So here's the inputted, here's the modified code to make it work. It's funny because now it's going back to the old stuff that didn't work prior. So create the LSTM. I'm gonna try to put this here. Let's see what happens. So we still get this error Okay, here's my code. Here is my code. This is the error that it outputs. And we'll just keep going in circles until we figure this out because I know it can do it. I believe in it. Paste it in there. Go ahead and see what's going on over here. Pre-market. Looks like pre-market has fully retraced. BTC is taking a big pullback here into a somewhat of a demand zone. We'll see what happens next. So this said, this error is caused by the fact that the input shape for the COM1D layer is not correct. The input shape of the COM1D layer should be 3D with the dimensions, batch size, time steps, and features. Based on the input data, it seems that the time steps is 1 and the features is 50. Therefore, the input shape of the COM1D layer should be batch size 1, 50. Additionally, the kernel size for the convolutional layer should be greater than one. Otherwise, it will try to subtract two from one, causing a negative dimension. So let's just go ahead and copy all this over. Well, once it's finished. Okay. Note that I've changed the input shape of LSTM to 61 and the kernel size of COM1D to 3. Also, it's good practice to use the same scalar for the test data as well. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this over and let's see if this can fix it. Okay, look at that. It's now training the data, training on the data, which is awesome. Epoch 1 out of 50. So I don't know how long this is going to take ETA, 25 minutes, but look at this. You have the code now to, to make an LSTM, LSTM CNN, kind of a hybrid model, which is amazing because this was built by an AI. You know, of course I have to work with it and ask it questions correctly, but that's amazing to me. So if you want this code, I'll go ahead and put it inside the bootcamp where I teach everything about algo trading and we're doing a lot of machine learning this year. So that's all going to be taught. And if you want me to finish this training here, I'll, I'll let it go on my computer for a while. And when it's done, I'll, uh, I can make another video. Just let me know. Hey, I want to see that hybrid model again. So if you do want to see that, just ping me in the comments below and I'll make that hybrid model or I'll finish, I'll finish it and we'll do like get the RMSE and the MAE and we can compare it to our LSTM model because our LSTM model over here has the MAE, it has the R squared 
and it also has the MSC. So we'll be able to get all that information from this model here, or this one. We also did it in Arima model. So I'm just doing all of these models here on YouTube so you can see it. And I'll post all the code inside of the bootcamp where I teach you exactly how to algo trade step by step. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty great thing I put together here because I know this is a very secretive industry and most people don't like to share this information. So I just wanted to be the one that does share it because I've learned everything on the internet. So why not? And uh, I love working with ChatGPT too. So I'm having a lot of fun with this. If you want to see whatever you want to see, just let me know in the comment section and I'll do that. But other than that, I'll see you inside the bootcamp.